this week's demonstration is your host, Lily Dorsey. Hi, welcome to DIY Home Decor. I'm Lily Dorsey, your host. Today we're going to be talking about Mod Podging. All the materials you need to Mod Podge can vary depending on the project, but today we're going to do little letters for your house. Kind of like this one here on the front, it's double sided. The front is canvas material and then the back was wood, so I Mod Podged it. And then on the sides, I just painted it a simple acrylic paint. Um, so there's a lot of different artistic things that you can do and you can be really creative when you're Mod Podging. So, to get started, you would normally go through like a magazine and pick out different kind of pieces of print that you would like to use. I went through and I pre-cut some and I already went ahead and painted the sides of this. It's really easy, all you need is a simple little brush like this and Usually one to two coats will do it. So we're going to do the back of this one. Mod Podge is a water-based sealer and glue, and it leaves a shiny finish whenever you're done. So you're going to want to have a cup of water with you because it can get pretty sticky um, and pretty messy. You're not going to want to have anything on your hands, and try not to wear long sleeves. So. You don't really need a little bit. A lot can go a long way. And for all of this stuff, it's really inexpensive, maybe like $15 tops. So you're going to do whichever area you want to start with first and apply the Mod Podge to the surface. And then you can simply place it on there. And if it goes over the sides, it's really easy and it's not a big deal. You can just press it down like that and it kind of molds itself to whatever you're deciding to Mod Podge. You can Mod Podge a lot of different surfaces. Um, I, I've done a tabletop before. Uh, you can do pictures onto different kind of canvases and it's really like a really sweet uh, present for someone and you can personalize it and make it your own. So normally when you're going through, you're probably going to have to go and cut to make sure that it fits your product the way that you like it to. But I already went ahead and did that to save some time. That's the, basically the longest part of Mod Podging. So try not to get too much um, of the product on there because it will tear the paper depending on what you're Mod Podging onto the canvas. You can do different things like newspaper, magazine, books. I've even done dictionary um, pages before. All right, so you just keep applying it and it's basically pretty repetitive. And the more you have of um, these little things, the better, because you're going to want more rather than less. All right. You might want to start going down to a different area whenever this one has gotten too much. All right, we're going to stop right there, and you're going to have a word from our announcers. When we come back, we'll finish it. Lipstick is non transferable. There's a large range of long lasting colors. XOXO. <laughs> Hi, welcome.
welcome back to Do It Yourself House Decor. Before the break, we were just finishing up our Mod Podge. So we'll try to get through this pretty fast. It's a pretty simple project when it comes down to it. And like I said before, it's really inexpensive and you can get pretty creative with it. I like making different kinds of pictures, like different objects with other objects like this one. You can put like a flower headband on some random face. So, do that. All right. So, um, other kinds of Mod Podge that you can do are, like I said before, canvases, and you can even like glue different things onto them, which I will show you in a second. We will be gluing something onto the front of this, and don't worry if a little piece of wood is showing. It's really not that big of a deal. You can paint over it. You can put a different piece of um, magazine, newspaper, whatever you want on top of it. So, try to finish this up right here. Like I said before, it is very sticky, so you're going to want to have napkins with you, lots of paper towels. All right. If you're not very artistic, Mod Podging is a really great activity to do because you don't have to be artistic to do it. You just have to know how to basically use a paintbrush. And people really do appreciate it when it's more of like a homemade gift. I've had to make this for my mom for Mother's Day before when I didn't have any money, so. All right. Another thing about Mod Podge is that it actually dries pretty easily, so you don't ever really have to worry about waiting too long for it. All right. And it's good to just kind of gloss it all over to make it um, compress as one. So you might have to cut out a few different things towards the end whenever you're starting to miss some pieces, but it's not that big of a deal. See, it's very sticky. So. All right. So right now it kind of looks like it has a little bit of a white look to it, kind of like Elmer's glue, but it actually dries clear and it leaves a really nice finish. You might want to go around the sides, pick up anything that was left over. And then you can just kind of let that dry. So today I'm going to be putting just some kind of cool looking beer caps on top of the canvas side. To do that, I will be using E6000. This is like the best glue ever. You don't have to use that much and it goes a really long way. So for these ones, you just apply the glue around that and you'll press it right there. You maybe only have to apply pressure for about 15 seconds, if even that. And like I said, a little bit goes a long way. So it'll end up looking something like this and it's really cute. It's a great present for your mom, your best friend, whoever it might be that you're looking for. Be sure to check out my website for other designs on DIYHomeDecor.com. Thank you for coming and seeing this today.